Auxiliary power units will start in 15 seconds at T minus 5 minutes. T minus 5 minutes and counting. PLT, perform ATU start. ITC PLT in order. CDR, reconfigure heaters. CDR, is still reconfigured one. We're starting the data recorders here in the firing room. OTC, CDR, heater reconfig complete. Copy. Surface profile test. And we'll have a steering check of the main engines in about another 15 seconds. Minus three minutes. The main engines are now in their start position. LO2 pressurization. PLT, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. OTC, PLT in work. This oxygen pin arm now being retracted. Atlantis, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Atlantis has visors coming closed and locked. And pseudo 2 coming on. We are ready. CLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Solid rocket booster cameras have been activated. Pressure water system has been armed. One minute. 
No birds observed in the immediate vicinity of the flight path. Final check of the SRB commands. SRB joint heaters being turned off. Liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are being closed. Handoff. Handoff to Atlantis has occurred from the ground launch sequencer. Nozzle check of the SRBs. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle of Lights. The final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out P. Houston, we copy, no action. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Houston, Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. Flight control team discussing the minor transients that were seen at liftoff. All three engines are in good shape. The vehicle is uh, headed downrange. Three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude downrange 23 miles. Already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 35 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 51 miles. Altitude uh, 195,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling 3,300 miles per hour. Again, all three main engines are in good shape as are the uh, hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units, and the fuel cells. No issues uh, heading to orbit. Atlantis, two engine Maroon. Houston, Atlantis copies, two engine Maroon. Three minutes into the flight, Atlantis. The T2 out P is a deucer only, and the ASA 1 is a power only. Copy, ASA-1 power only, and the H-2 is deucer. Approaching four minutes into the flight. Altitude 310,000 feet, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Houston, we copy, 
Copy, negative.